era of socialist labor. Red banner of labor, order of the October Revolution, people's artist of the USSR, Stalin prizes, five, international peace prize, gray trash, meaningless. The ravens are here, even claiming our corpses. Oh, something they feel. Their state composer is dead. I am dead. How else should I be smiling? hands. What torches of those eyes seen? Stern breast hung with gongs from your heroic exploits in unforgettable... Um, what year was it? Purging what wretched Baltic state? Et tu, Brute? Best jaw forward? Girl on the left? Traveler from the West. Upmarket freedom fighter. Need you like a hole in the back of the neck. Citizen artist. After what my country has done to me. a composer what use to the world is he time to be gone goodbye widow daughter son goodbye friends whose music is that so <laughs> that's me eighth symphony why the third movement Noises in the head. What use to the living is that? I'm sorry, Professor Glazunov. I ran. I'm sorry. So early. No trams. Fugue number four, slow central episode, median minor, stretto on the fifth, adagio coda, idiom of Brahms. What did Glazunov know about trams? His mother wrapped him in a coat and told the coach here every morning. See, my boy doesn't catch cold. I must wake an hour earlier, I said. Till there were more trams. Do you think your father?
My father did not abuse his access to state supplies. I was not a go-between. We did nothing we could be shot for. Don't worry, we're shortening my life, I said. I dreaded the tram stop. If at last a tram did come, the people behind me always shoved me aside. The tram went with them and not me. I was not made for fighting like that. The Adif. Idle dandy. Krashchenko. I box. I box. I box. It begins with K. I. For insignificant. See you don't end. Like that. Pew Paw, slow central episode, median minus, set on the fifth, Adagio Coda, Idiom of Brahms. Where's this? The Kremlin Wall? Doubt it. Nowhere near him. That's for sure. The Novodevici for me. With Khrushchev. And Stanislavski. And Chekhov. And Tsar Josef's wretched wife. The awkward dead. Ay, 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 ay. Once there was a Tsar. Of Moscow, Joseph. Joseph the Terrible, father of all the Russias, great gardener, who dug the revolution's grave. Shoeshine boy from the Caucasus. Lover of children, pox pits on his face and neck. Little fat hands, one smaller than the other, and the boots that gave him such a kick to wear. Oh, he brooded. And in his brooding, our wretched century broke its back. Symphony makes him even more of a prodigy than me. <laughs> <laughs> to Shostakovich, first composer of the revolution. Shostakovich, first composer of the revolution. Thank you, Mikhail. Difficult. Red Army commander, no less. He makes violins. I'm interested in Stratton. <laughs> Wunderkind, all right. Crushing the Kronstadt Rebellion. How young was he? My best friend, you know. Son of one of the leaders at Kronstadt. Was it necessary? Stay friends with him. He's close to the center, and he's Leningrad, as you are. As District Secretary Kirov... Samuelski! Take cover. Here comes the battleship Potemkin. Samuelski, we subsidize your orchestra, and you give us symphonies like that. 
Madame Lupinskaya, how irresistible you look this evening. More than one can say for you. Then do as I do. Tell a gracious lie. What did Mikhail mean? Composer of the revolution, difficult. Music and revolution go together. Been already orchestrated. Better than. With respect, you're wrong, Comrade Meyerhold. I don't orchestrate. I hear. Yeah. <laughs> Prokofiev orchestrates from a piano score. I write for the orchestra. I didn't like all the symphony, but. Uh... Schillinger and Weisberg leaving early. They wrote the other pieces premiere tonight, both quite eclipsed. Not easy for them. Now you are wrong for them. It is easy. They are not uh, significant. <laughs> Come and write some music for my theatre. I mean, you have to live in Moscow, of course. You Petersburg people. You can't play piano in that drafty cinema forever. You've a mother and two sisters. You must earn. And to stage King Lear, amongst other plays, of course, but Lear, the king is gone, his rotten inheritance infests the state. A storm, a fool and a madman. <laughs> oh, what a play. That Tsar of Moscow, oh, he hated Petersburg. Window on the world, one day he came to close the window, black it out. HQ corridor, mysteriously unguarded at the time. drafted, decreed, and dated on his desk in Moscow.
freeze the medals of a brass general. Yeah, the thing has been my honeymoon here, eh? Did Mrs. Igor like it? No, I didn't bring her along. She'd already seen the place. <laughs> you know, your wife looks like stunning. Yeah, I think her beard's a bit longer. <laughs> She's got a better wig, too. Yeah, hey. Do you know, she combs her hair 100 times every morning. That's just one of the legs. Yeah. What about Ivanovich in the jail, eh? Go on hunger strike. Ivanovich? Yeah. But he's 31 stone. I know. They say he's only got four years to live. <laughs> <laughs> My brother Nikolai, what about him, eh? He got a medal. He destroyed the enemy lines of communication. How did he do that? He ate the pigeon. Oh, look at the bad man. Uh, they play beautifully. Someone saw your opera last night. Dissonant, grinding, screaming, gnashing, crashing and screeching. Dimitri, the train. D Dimitri? Negative. the composer, this could end very badly.
most radical experiment in human history, and it is succeeding where all the rest have failed. The revolution set our creativity free. Now he tells me, stamp on my own creativity. Should have looked around you. New people worming into power. The arrest. Disappearances. You know the man, you talk to him. Understand, Dimitri. You're being licked into shape. The great Soviet composer. Oh, yes, the man has judgment. He had this new piece in rehearsal, had a symphony, isn't it? Some of the players are being difficult. Oh. News gets back. Orchestral players are smug. They always give new work a hard time. These players are frightened. This uh, new sound of yours. It's violent. Black. Noises that crush. It's too negative. It is what it is. Such music speaks of conflict. The revolution has resolved all conflict. Life is merry, our leader tells us so. We smile with joy. A symphony must rejoice. I write what I hear from within myself, which comes from who I am in this world in which I am, or else I have no meaning. This world you're in. You're in Russia. Stalin is helping Hitler to destroy the communists in Germany. <laughs> Why? That we could help Hitler. It is obscene. When Hitler has sworn to obliterate us from the earth, Stalin might help him to do that too. We have a planning meeting, the defense of Leningrad. We must have anti-aircraft rockets. He doesn't believe in rockets, because I do. He needs me to be wrong. I have talent, he has none. So I pretend. Guns, blah, blah, blah. The need for so many guns, blah, blah, blah. Young Igor chips in, my second in command, as briefed. With respect, Comrade Secretary General, with respect, the Comrade Marshal lacks vision. He hasn't foreseen the possibility of air attack. Word perfect. Really? Says he. The great helmsman. Genius. Word to be used only of him. Lacks vision, does he? That glint in his eye. And authorizes rockets. Suppose documents were discovered originating in Berlin, implicating me in conspiracy with the Nazi high command. So easy. The pretext Stalin needs to have me gone. Seat his cronies in the saddle, Voroshilov, Budyeni. Cavalry teak heads who think we can gallop to the Brandenburg Gate. Well, Russia would be safer with their horses in command. No rockets then. No Marshal Mikhail Tukhachevsky. No Red Army. Leningrad naked to bombardment from the sky. When that happens, thank Stalin. And remember me. 
My poor troubles matter very little. You matter very much. Politicians live by lies, they must. We dumb soldiers can only obey. You have to be true. That's your contract with the living. You are the one voice by which a truth may still be spoken and which the people will know for true. You've got to stay alive for that somehow. Now you've taken a fall, laddie. Get back in the saddle. Now, use this crisis to your own end. No one would claim that my early music has been perfect. This new piece of yours, it could be uh, withdrawn discreetly. The gesture would be favorably observed. Then start a new symphony. One that wins through darkness into light. A program the party can approve. I feel no light in my heart. You're a composer. That's for you to resolve. Be sure that in it you speak to the people, not only to yourself. See? Finland. We could need her for our forward bases, should anyone attack us. Finland is our friend. We have a special relationship. And if she denies us bases, we'll attack her. That's what special relationship means. Night is coming. Today we condemn and murder others. Tomorrow we ourselves are condemned and murdered. Beware. Once I believed, we Russians do, we believe, and believe simple things.
After the revolution, Russian soldiers won't kill Russian children anymore, we said. And apples will be for all alike. Sergei Big Beasley to the Germans. Music by Prokofiev, I suppose. Prokofiev, who came back and landed like a chicken in the soup. Big up! Big up! They were not good. Now they bring up the specialist! Big up! the enemy's intention, and with one bound, he was free. Remember the eagle that I told you about, he sat on the mountain, a big eagle like this, used to fly across the valleys and the rivers, as it, it could for days and days without sitting down. And Cobra had gone and talked to this eagle, sat down. But our brave hero had already guessed the enemy's intention, and with one bound, he was free. This big eagle, flying across all the time, across all these valleys, rivers, fields, Sit down. But our very hero had already guessed the enemy's intention. And with one bound, it was... Of course, this is only a rough cut, but you'll see the problem. But our very hero had already guessed the enemy's intention. And with one bound, he was free.
Well, you don't see. But our brave hero had already guessed the enemy's intention, and with one bound, he was free. It's a quote, a tribute. It's something our comrade leader will later write of himself. In his short history, the um, siege, uh, Caspian campaign. Mm. I don't remember the exact battle now. The problem is... Sorry. Koba, hero of the Caucasus. This implies that our comrade leader's revolutionary manner has its roots in a boy's own adventure story. How could the writer be so inept? <sighs> well, they'll have to change the book. Director's problem. Ah. You'll have to change the music. Composer's problem. Ah. Our leader is like God. We do not know his face. He foams people. Yes. All ours. If he would only write, one could show a letter. Such and such, the mountain eagle says to me. Thus was his word to me. Alas, the phone call leaves no evidence. Lezhenev had a phone call. Out when it came. Sat at his desk a whole week after. <laughs> Our comrade leader doesn't ring a second time. Tagankov met him. He met him? Hmm. Private viewing in the Kremlin, Tagankov's latest masterpiece. Who's the director? Let's have him over. Join the viewing party. Start running the film. Comrade leader at the back. Tagankov two rows down in the front. Don't look around. Every snuffle from the leader, every move. Tagankov don't look around. Doesn't hear a message brought in at the back. <laughs> All Tagankov hears is, what shit is this? And falls flat on the floor in a dead faint. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Carry him out, swab down the floor, clean his pants. A little room for that. Hmm, says the leader. Not inviting film directors anymore. They get carried away. I'll rewrite it tonight. All of it? I'm a professional. Of the Petersburg School. Mikhail and other officers asked to report for questioning. Wives and mistresses helped with inquiries too. Used to be a joke about Mikhail. At his funeral, there'd be so many widows, each thinking she's the only one. Well, well. And a special education for the children of such men. Look at him. Nose without a man. Wrong. Name? Pogumilyov. From? Akhmatova, his mother. Mayaho, too, helped with inquiries. Note the overnight bag. We all kept one, packed and ready. Warm underwear, toothbrush, copy of Pushkin. Might be gone some time. Never got round to his, King Lear. His wife up there, a large actress, selfish on stage. Right now, they're cutting out her eyes with knives. Someone must hear. You know us Russians. No smoke without fire. Not so long since, I too would have said. She must have done something.
humanists from the West. Utopia 1937. Not fascism, of course. Yes, at least it's not fascism. Mikhail, about to help the revolution. Broad day. Must be some hurry to have them gone. They'll rev the engines. Shooting must not be heard in the street. comes here every night this opera is playing never misses blood-soaked Tsar, who takes upon himself deeds of horror to make our Russia strong. Possible. Such things cannot be happening. Stone crushers mashed the flesh and bone. The bloody pulp flushed down the city drains, purging the state.
Well, H.G. has been with the leader. I'm bound to say I never met a fairer man, more candid, more honest. How could anyone possibly be afraid of him? I don't understand. Unless they were suffering from guilt. Absolutely. I did try to understand these people from the West. They seemed to crave an angry parent. Uh, for others, of course. Must be their education system. André, you crystal the blind! And in a blaze of joy. D major. Key of joy. Of light. Light. The symphony must rejoice. Our leader says so. To give us a good life and gain his in the olden days the choirs and churches could never sing it in tune sometimes they needed it flatter so they made it two notes they called the flat one B and the sharp one H you can still see that in the signs C D D sharp which also has another name S I can play your name what? look if this is D D D. And this is F. And this is C. And this is A. So it is. That's Daddy laughing. Ha 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 ha. most powerful man there's ever been and we do not know him
What if he... All along, if he be right, confess all to us all. How does one talk with such a man? What language does he use? They say that even with his mother, Wrong books again. Don't they realize the German fascists have always been our friends? There go their copies of that Jew, Karl Marx. <laughs> Comrade Hitler, our fraternal ally. They could weep. Weep? Under the blanket. No tears in paradise. Did I tell you that Eisenstein? He's staging Wagner next, hopeless task. Not a Jew in the cast, how that man turns. Survival. What will be left of him to survive? No scream. No protest. They come for us, we go. Sheep of Russia. Why does he not send for me? He must. He will. How can my turn not come?
In nature, life is cheap. To save the earth, he knows, and only he, what must be done. My sense of my own worth as a living person is... Is that a myth? Must be ready. Pen, paper, toothbrush, by the door. Must be ready. And when they start on me, what is it really like? Then, will I scream? Yes. Yes. To scream is to protest. Dignity is servility. Damn you. Damn you. Who make us think about such things. Head. From where in your head, Dad? My head is a big round world. Little demons in it open little doors and poke their faces out. <laughs> There's a particularly naughty little demon. <coughs> Nobody takes any notice. We think he's friendly. But he gets bigger. Bigger. And bigger. Before you know, he's trampling everybody down. Is that the story? That is the story. What is it called? Symphony number seven. Yes, but what's its real name? Uh-oh. No name. Does someone kill the giant in the end? Perhaps. Have been in the West. They do strange things in the West. There they spit on the back of their stamps. What horrors in store for us today? <laughs> Piano finals. Liszt Sonata. <laughs> Liszt Dante. Sonata. Bislave. Opus 111. I'll never get away in time. Meeting? You must be joking. Spartak versus Zenit. Oh. We'll have to get these little creatures to play faster.
the cellars. And thank your lucky stars for Zara's architecture. Our helmsman of genius. How can he? How can he? Hitler is my, Hitler friend. Is my friend. He is my he brother. Is my brother. We, we signed an agreement to share Europe. To share Europe. Leningrad, no anti-aircraft rockets. Who, Who has, has left, left Leningrad, Leningrad naked, naked to the air? To the air? Who, Who is, is to blame? Fraternal ally now. Who will help us conquer Europe now? America. You're needed, safe, to finish that new symphony. You're exterminating giant thieves. Enemy of life. Yes, well, now it's enemy of Leningrad. <laughs> and this charade, not even my own kit. Just look at it. The top musicians in the city. <coughs> and there, one German shell would make martyrs of us all. Is that what city commanders down off once? It makes good news reels. Oh, true. The help save Leningrad. Who's directing? <laughs> Eisenstein. The coffee has man. He'd do anything to make me look ridiculous. His father has been cancelled. He's glorifying Ivan the Terrible now. Oh, Mr. Trump, Can I show you? Uh, over there, there's a... Whoa. Out from the hell of Leningrad. Before the belching mouths of Nazi guns. Across the frozen waste, born through blizzards. South, across the peaks of Georgia, a secret weapon comes, mightier than steel. From Hashash rendezvous in the deserts of Iran. By motorcycle. Truck. Cairo. Gibraltar. What is this secret? Plans? Designs? A formula? Brainchild of some Russian Einstein? None of these. These experts are generalissimos of the symphony. Maestros Toscanini and Kuzovitsky. The weapon? Forged in the inferno of conflict with the Soviet's ancestral foe, the Hun. 
is a new symphonic masterwork born with a name, the Leningrad Symphony. With its graphic depiction of the Nazi hordes comes music from the flames to set America aflame in the cause of liberty. Our Russian Einstein is a nervous, private little man, but a hero, seen here in rare footage, shoulder to shoulder with the citizens of Leningrad, fighting to save their ancient city from the flames. days the siege 900 days we ate human flesh to survive to survive We ate the Jews first, because they did not fight. War is easy, we were told. And when we won, all this, at the mercy of our savior, again. Oh, Leningrad, my Leningrad. Nothing changes. Only the tyrants learn from history. All who fight for us now in the West and live to come home, true heroes of our land. With what they have learned outside, shall vanish in mass graves. Our Tsar shall see to that. And our deeper war continue. Symphonies, tombstones of the siege. He'll be wanting an eighth symphony next. Then a ninth, a monumental Beethovenian ode to <laughs> So Commander Zdanov is a music critic now. I hear that Comrade Prokofiev has turned up. Comrade musicians, permit me a few opening remarks on the role of the creative artist in society. In the West, the artist is a mere ornament, victim to market forces. He can be made or broken by the vogues of a narrow intellectual elite. 
whether he live or starve, depends on how fashionable he is. His so-called freedom is a struggle to survive. We. We value our artist. We recognize the gift he brings. As any science, any technology, poetry, art, music are vital to our humanity. Our institutions, therefore, accord the artist proper status. In our society, he enjoys his rightful place. But with that status comes responsibility. We are here today to examine that responsibility. In the West, yes, the artist is free to dabble in abstractions, in sentimental nihilism, in meaninglessness itself. We, the people, demand that you touch us, that you reach into us, that your creations be of meaning to us. In a word, that you speak. Have we, in our Soviet music, the beginnings of a failure to speak. Trouble with the sound off so often right. Invidious to instance names, and I would not. Catechurian looks unhappy. But for certain recent oh, disappointments in the field of opera and symphony and opera of Comrade Moradelli, certain choral and orchestral pieces from comrades Prokofiev, Kachaturian. Gorgolovsky in the shadows of every platform. From Shostakovich. Well, it may be argued, why should I, a Prokofiev, respect the opinions of a tractor driver from Tashkent? Why should a smelter from Smolensk dictate my harmonies to me, a Shostakovich? Names, you will note, of some two or three symphonic stars whom the West has taken to its rutting heart. While even here at home, thanks to the influence of a Leningrad clique of musicologists, so-called, others among us who labor to uphold more tuneful values are treated with contempt. Their works not performed, their names not even heard. Comrades, I am no musician. Well, I've heard it said. Andrei Alexandrovich, no musician. <laughs> but he knows 600 folk songs. <laughs> what a thing to say! I only know 300. <laughs> yeah. Letters. These are letters from workers from factories and collectives everywhere. These can hear when a composer violates the natural laws. These can tell gratuitous dissonance, ugly clashings, noises that shriek and crush for the symptoms that they are of a concept of life too negative. As for example, in some recent work from Comrade Shostakovich, who appears to have lapsed again. The number nine. That mighty, consummating number. With all its resonance of the great Beethoven. At a time of epic liberation by our savior, Generalissimo Stalin, sole architect of our victory, what ninth does our lapsed comrade deliver? Carnival squeaks! Hooligan squawkings! A satanic satire, perhaps, to include as its main theme a 
my Yankee sergeant whistling. Well, what can our comrade be telling us? I, Shostakovich, personally deflates the myth of number nine. I, Dmitry Dmitrievich, private individual. I, I have some personal whim. I will assert. Comrades, Comrades Danov has done well. Sounded, may I say, a note of warning. All my career, rather since an earlier, most salutary. Warning. I have sought my meaning. I have sought to speak to the living. Do I begin to fail? Do I fall too much beneath my own private shadow and fail to speak openly and plainly to the living and with objectivity? Then yes, I fail. I fail by the standards of the highest art, which are the only standards. And I am grateful to you all that you rebuke me. Yes, to be sure. It is also right and proper at the conservatoire that my son also denounces me. To be sure, to reach the people, that is the question. But how is it done? I expect to receive instruction from you. I will study it with deep interest. Afraid I'll do. A harmony too problematic for the people.
We, we value our artist. We recognize the gift he brings. As any science, any technology, poetry, art, music are vital to our humanity. Our institutions, therefore, accord the artist proper status. In our society, he enjoys his rightful place. Promise them. Yes. Promise them a project. Massive. Three symphonies. A revolutionary trilogy. The people. Lenin. Stalin. Defect. Exile is a worse death. Pushkin, he too, with my talent and my luck, he said, to be born in Russia. Stupid. Stupid. May one mention Chekhov. A true craftsman. I put my hand, he said, to anything. Accept denunciations. I wish Mummy didn't have to work so far away. She does. A friend requires it. Her lover. Keep them off my back a year or so. Buy time. I have my contract with the living. I must live to honor that. What are you? By what flaw in us do we millions obey? Hatred of ourselves, guilt of the living, guilty that we sing. Gift has separated me, gift elevated me, so I punish my gift to bring myself down. Equal. Strength through joy. Who is it, please? Daddy, Daddy, it's Comrade Stalin. Yes. America. I'm sorry? New York, Comrade Shostakovich. Yes? The Cultural and Scientific Congress on World Peace. Next month, we must encourage peace-loving peoples. Of course. The Pentagon's new North Atlantic Treaty, you understand, is causing concern. You will be the star of our Soviet delegation. <clears throat> Comrade General, Secretary, I am amazed that you regard me as worthy. I... You are our brightest and most talented. No false modesty. All the same, I... Yes. It, it will... Um... <clears throat> 
in America, I, um, people will ask me, uh, how it works, that is, those of Prokofiev and Kajaturian and my, myself, uh, people will ask me, how can I just represent a country where are um, my works are banned? In the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, no work is banned. There are contexts in which performance is unwise. Where that concerns you, uh, we should perhaps look into that. I'm sick. I'm tired of... Yes, I hear you dislike flying. We'll send you a doctor. Good night. and most talented. No false modesty. No work is banned. In the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, there are contexts in which performance is unwise. This evening, 7.45, grand banquet of welcome, Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Friday, 10.30 a.m., press conference. 11.45, visit to the ambassador's residence. Sunday, Madison Square Gardens, 8 p.m., peace rally. You will play a piano version of the scherzo from your symphony number no. five. When do we leave for New Jersey? New York is horrible. It's everything Gorky says, city of the yellow dome. New Jersey is cancelled. <laughs> Yale is also cancelled from the university authorities. A visit from me would serve no educational purpose. Stravinsky, your fellow composer. He's behind all this. He has all the American universities sewn up. 
Bitches. Academics. Stravinsky is wrong. And he refuses to sign a telegram welcoming us. McLeish, New York Times. Thank you. All I wish uh, from Comrade Shostakovich is an answer. Does he or does he not accept the criticism voiced against him by the party at last year's special congress? I repeat, <laughs> the criticism of the party was most accurate. Was it just? I endeavor to respect it, in practice. <laughs> and what, in practice, does that mean? My music must answer that. Uh, the music you have written since, a, a film score for the young guard, a cantata on a forestation. Are you saying that these are your real music now? Do you, do you repudiate the symphonies you wrote before? With the fifth? Answer! No one would claim that his... my... Earlier music has been perfect. Do you repudiate? Why are you so interested in me? I'm one among so many, and I'm not the only Soviet composer I'm here. the only one here of any stature, you know that. <laughs> okay. Comrade Shostakovich, we still await your answer. The Eighth Symphony, for instance, denounced in Moscow as the work of a frightened man. Are you frightened? My music is not to be discussed in personal terms. Oh, uh, come, come, Shostakovich. Yours is very personal. Music. My personality is irrelevant. Music must transcend mere personality. That is the struggle of every true artist. Very well, let us discuss the music of others. Prokofiev, Kachachurian, also criticized by Congress. Surely you have an attitude to error. Error is error to be repudiated, purged. Is the error of a comrade colleague such as Katachurian no concern to you? Dmitri Dmitrievich, answer, please. It says here, Mr. Shostakovich, do you or do you not denounce as error? the work of your fellow musician, Stravinsky. Where we have relapsed into formalism, we recant our error. What is formalism? <laughs> Form for form's sake, severed from experience. You ask about other composers. Stravinsky, all I can say is I agree. <laughs> he has betrayed his land, he has severed himself from his own people. Result, his music is morally barren, intellectual. At least the colleagues you mentioned seek to serve the people. Prokofiev, Kachachurian. They, as I, must heed the directive of the Central Committee if we are not to lapse into form for form's sake. I, I denounce their error. I should have said no at the beginning, like Mandelstam.
We are chickens. We see only one grain at a time. Peck, peck, till the farmer grabs us. Chop. For instance, elephants these days are Russian. Karl Marx is Russian. Isaac Newton is Russian. The moon is Russian. As Armenian radio would say, first prize, dinner with Stalin. Second prize, a week with Stalin. Old joke. Candidates on stage. We are about to declare. I am awake, like Dostoevsky, on his way to execution. Vivid as never before. I'm Shostakovich. On my way to meet Stalin. All my life has been a girding for this moment. Stop twitching. Remember the joke. Who was Nicholas I? Tsar, in the time of Pushkin. I have only everything to lose. And that is lost. Courage comes easy now. The black monk's name is death. I must... Keep my trousers clean. Comrade, well done. Well done. It had to be your tune at one. I like a tune. You rose to the occasion. You know that? You are our brightest and most talented. You know that? I am honored, Comrade General Secretary, that you regard me so. Your friend, uh, uh, Kachiturian, uh, spins a good melody. Uh, he's not Russian, of course. <laughs> Comrade, uh, sing me tight. Mm -hmm. Spoiled his scoring, in our view. His use of the D-flat clarinet. A sardonic tumble. Sarcastic. We don't like that. Side, Comrade Shostakovich, your ninth symphony, but the number nine. Perhaps I should re. Title it Sinfonietta. Reserve 
the number nine hmm. for my next an ode to joy. Yes. I shall feel equal, Comrade Stalin. I assure you. I enjoy my conversations with creative men. Where do they come from, I wonder? Wolves' noises in their head. <laughs> On stage, comrades, let us sing. The noble anthem Shostakovich has composed. You on my right. If Comrade Shostakovich will allow me to conduct. <laughs> That's two that have failed us. Find me a conductor that will not faint!
kill the giant in the end. Perhaps. What if he, all along, if he be right, confess all to us all? When they announced that, I thought, the demigod, please. You're lying there listening to everything we say. Then you'll rise again. God's hammer. Sheep. The shepherd gone. If only we Russian people had one neck. I am alive. And you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Our rough hammer could not create anything without a master to direct its blows. <laughs> I shall go to Prokofiev's funeral. Died the same day. Jumped up with excitement and dropped dead. <clears throat> Poor chump. And he called himself a gambler. God, the great craftsman. Oh, let the hammer fall.
changes into images of people. If can there be no master hand erecting the hammer's blow, no purpose would be Majesty which graces earth with beauty. All hammer strokes are presaged by this hammer, by it alone. They learn to strike from life. The higher sweeps the arm above the Wait. Just so must I this hammer raise to reach the vaulted heavens. Bloody meetings, they only do it to waste my time. Like some gross block in earth, I lie primeval. Unless the master smith and holy assist my blow with his consummate You Westerners think we in Russia talk politics all the time. There are no politics in Russia. But surely the dialectics of harmony, symphonic evolution in the context of struggle. How can you Russians not discuss such things? We manage. We manage. What problems fascinate musicians here? How Mazorsky put away so much booze? Tchaikovsky's homosexuality. Dimitri, you're being droll.
no memorial here. Only the cliff. Here were chasms. Grim forms of stone. The brink of a ravine. Clenched fists of rock. The very reek of death. They filed along the brink. They stood astride the grave. Shots rang out. The bodies fell into the ravine. Next, more came grain merchants, women with lace umbrellas. All stood along the brink. Shots rang out. Their bodies fell into the ravine. Some kicked there by boots. Next, some of the children now. Come, Rabbi, sing. Sing for the children to dance. Kill the Yids, save our Russia. Dance, children, dance. The shots rang out. Their bodies fell into the ravine. At last, a union of the Russian people. Next. Fascist atrocity, of course. Pogrom, however, is a Russian word. are the sounds of spring. We embrace in the darkness. Do I hear them breaking down the door? No. It is the ice breaking. My dear, nothing happened here. No history, no memorial. Nothing is buried here of any of us.
That status comes responsibility. And we are here today to examine that responsibility. of springtime bursting in the spring she's here she's here and you come oh give me quick your lips to kiss As the door. so it is breaking ice Set. 
Once I believed, we Russians do. We believe and believe simple things. After the revolution, Russian soldiers won't kill Russian children anymore, we said. And apples will be for all alike. Only one virtue, dying, enforces economy. One note must do the work of ten. I write music to make people ill. Did you know that? At rehearsal of my 14th symphony, our cultural commissar stood up and dropped dead. He'd got the message. <laughs> Mustn't laugh. To laugh would kill me. Bastard! You hijacked my soul. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Something died from your music when I died. You stopped speaking. No necessity, you see. I made a great composer of you, damn it. While I lived, you left me a barren tree to pluck poor fruit. Who is there anywhere? in any time to come, to live his life from the life you lost us. All that. I am the enemy you loved, my friend. Together again, I see, the fool and his czar I made Russia strong. I found her a medieval pauper. No one tampers with Russia now. What did you do? Shut <laughs> Truth, heart, sunset values, squeaks and bangs, thumps, and howlings in the head. My music speaks, reaches out to people where nothing else can touch. It's a warning. We must stop that. Can't have people living where we can't reach. That's my meaning. I destroyed what you call truthfulness, yours. The inward life must die. You ah, my friend, its long, bleak coda into the dark. That is your significance. I'm what people really want, my friend. One day you'll see, they'll ask me back. What a comment. No black, no white. Just dirty gray. Stand, Dimitri. 
before being licked into shape. The great Soviet composer. Oh, yes, the man has judgment. I write what I hear from within myself, which comes from who I am in this world in which I am, or else I have no meaning. This world you're in. You're in Russia. Come on, fool. So, was that all? Soon the ravens will be here. A lovely corpse. What did the man die of? Nerves? Heart? Of quicklime in the blood, which Stalin fed me. Bury me well. Or else, like Gogol, I might vanish from my grave. Ask me nothing anymore. Ask the music 